many films that inspired us. I mean, I think we within it and within the worlds that we've created and the characters' situations, there are many elements of, of films that we've taken. The same way we used to do with The League of Gentlemen, there were certainly homages to things. Nothing's uh, parodied. It's all very done. It's done if we're, we're doing a horror bit, we fully go for the horror or a thriller. You know, you just feel like that. A lot of the inspiration afterwards, in hindsight, it occurred to us it's very Hitchcocky in this because of the way it... Um, it panned out being this thriller element to it, but it was great writing it. I shouldn't really say it, but not quite knowing why we would we would go with the plots, because it left it means that you can't possibly work it out because we didn't know what was happening at certain points. If you're writing it and the other person responsible for unlocking the reveal at the other end and you haven't kind of worked your way toward it, that was hard to kind of make pieces fit. I know now, having become obsessed with like 24 and things that they don't have the answers and it's slightly disappointing to know that because you think it's not as clever so I don't quite want to reveal the fact that we didn't either but we, by three I think I thought we knew a lot of where the plot lines were going but we didn't know how it would be tied up um, so there was an element of of ourselves having to untangle the riddle which I think is good because it meant it was more inventive what happens and it was and it's more surprising because we were stuck ourselves you know and the audience can't second guess it if you sat us down now in a court of law and challenged us to answer every apparent flaw in it, we have got an answer for everything, haven't we, I think? I think when the DVD comes out, the commentary will have to be extended because <laughs> we'll need an hour at the end Long to tie up all the, all, all the seeming loopholes.